Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Cinema Club. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in this world. Now, it might seem weird, but I just want to say cheers to all my friends, and thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. The reason I'm having some uh, Johnny Walker is because of the actor who plays in this movie, Mr. Johnny Deb. I know the guy loves his whiskey, so do I. So, cheers, Johnny. But, we are covering From Hell, uh, one of the many movies that uh, deals with the life of one Jack the Ripper, one of the most infamous killers ever, because to this day, we still don't know who Jack the Ripper was. There's been countless, countless of theories on who it could be. Um, I'm surprised that Elvis wasn't um, named as Jack the Ripper, but uh, Jack was a bad man, and for me, this is one of the better um, movies about his life. I mean, the one that Michael Caine starred in. Uh, when did that come out? I'm not pretty sure, but that's that's also that follows basically the same plot line as this one. In this movie, in From Hell, Jack the Ripper is. Uh, supposed to be Sir William Gull. Now, Sir William Gull was actually Queen Victoria's personal doctor. And there was this whole royal conspiracy why William Gull had to kill prostitutes who knew about something going on in the royal household in, uh, that involved one of the princes, Prince Albert. But, coming back to the, this movie version, Johnny Depp and Heather Graham star in this movie various other great cast members and I can tell you now this is a great film this is a great watch it gives you such a great insight into how life was in the Whitechapel district in uh, 1888 and it was it, it's great okay unfortunately Johnny Deb um, his portrayal of uh, Frederick Abilene it's a bit different from a uh, cheers. It's a bit different from um, what we see or hear about the real Frederick Abilene. He plays a much younger version, and unfortunately, he's a little bit of a hophead. He's addicted to opium, and um, yeah, in the movie version, in this one, in From Hell, he has the ability to. He has a little bit of psychic psychicness to him you know you can see into the future so you can see that something is happening now if you know the story of jack the ripper um scotland yard basically they were caught with their pants down um all of a sudden these gruesome murders of prostitutes started happening and they didn't know what to make of it i mean because the the crimes were so um violent in nature i mean you haven't seen stuff like this. I mean, some of these women were completely disemboweled. The, the, the veracity of the killings were unheard of. And uh, Johnny Depp's character, Frederick Abilene, is tasked with finding Jack the Ripper. But, again, politics play a, a part in this. He can, only, he can only do so much with the support that he's getting from his uh, superiors and stuff um, in the mo in this movie version it focuses on Prince Albert who visits brothels and one of the prostitutes uh, actually got pregnant and this could uh, if this child should ever grow up and his mother being a prostitute this could that could destroy the, the monarchy I mean it could be devastating so in this version of the film Sir William Gull played by the late Ian Holm he uh, is tasked to kill all the prostitutes 
that knows of this uh, child existing. And Frederick Abelin tries to find Jack the Ripper. Now, guys, it's a very it's a historic film. Do I believe that Jack the Ripper was William Gull? No. It could have been Francis Tombalty, it could have been Elvis, it could have been uh, Freddy Krueger, for all I know. We'll never know. But uh, the storyline in this movie is actually, it's, it's very good. These characters are so great in this thing. Uh, be warned, the movie is very violent and there's a lot of uh, graphic stuff that you're going to see. Um, I mean, it was Whitechapel. Whitechapel, if you know your history, you'll... <laughs> Back then in the 1800s, it was so overcrowded. In a little place like Whitechapel, there was about... There were, there were thousands of people living there. And everybody had to make a living out of either peddling, stealing, or prostitution. So, yeah. Um, and people... It, 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 it was bad. Check out some documentaries if you can about Jack the Ripper. There's a ton of them that you can find on uh, various channels, especially on YouTube. And um, try and find this movie. Um, it's 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 worth a watch, my friends. From Hell is definitely worth a watch. It gives you another insight into the mind of um, who Jack the Ripper was. Um, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you guys. Uh, okay, we know that Ian, Ian Holmes' uh, character, Sir William Gull, is supposed to be Jack the Ripper. The ending to this movie is a bit weird for me because I can't really see... We have a whole factor of things. I mean, we have the Queen, we have the Prince, we have William Gull, we have Frederick Abeline, who can't seem to solve this thing. Eventually catches up to um, Jack the Ripper but he's not prosecuted this movie is shot beautifully i can tell you this there's some beautiful scenes in this thing and it's really eerie and creepy if you uh, if you look at it out of a filmmaker's perspective it's it's shot beautifully how the movie ends maybe it could have ended that way who knows i mean that's the mystery of jack the ripper we don't know who he was and why he did what he did we'll never know i guess we'll never know and i think that's more satisfying in a weird sinister way not to know who he was but look for for from hell if you can find it see it and you'll see what i mean it's a great performance by johnny depp it's uh it's one of his best movies for me actually i enjoy his movies quite a lot but this one is good like I said, Heather Graham, absolutely beautiful woman who stars with him in it as Mary Kelly. And um, yeah, guys, see this movie. But this has been my little look back at From Hell. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care of yourselves out there and stay safe in this chaotic world that we're living in. See you soon, my friends. Cheers.